Welcome back to Career Build Series. This is episode number 74. And so in this episode, we're going to be doing some building. I could use a new truck for this Career Build Series. And so I had been using some of my other trucks. And so I'd like to get something built in this series. And so what I'm going to use here is I'm going to go in and I have my 18-speed chassis. And so eventually I'll get these out in the workshop. And so what it is is, you know, a chassis is the frame of the vehicle. And so this has the frame, the engine, and this has an 18-speed transmission. As you can also see, it has seating on there. And so what this allows you to do is you should be able to get this and build whatever you want on top. You want something like a an old Kenworth or a Peterbilt with a really square hood, you can do that. You want to put an arrow on there. You want to put a sleeper cab on there. You can do all that. So one thought I also had is I could also potentially... the the transmission's kind of in the way. I was going to say I could put a cab over, but the transmission's right here, so I'd have to put a upper deck on there. So let's go ahead and I'm going to look for some reference material and try to find a truck that I'd like to build. So I think what I'm going to be working on here is this is a Mack Titan, and I believe they use these in Australia. And so probably build something like this. You know, it, it's a, kind of a mixture of an arrow, and it also has, you know, it's a little bit square, it's a little bit arrow, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it has the flat top on it and then a low profile sleeper on it. It has um, two drive axles. So it's a six by two. Big fuel tanks on the side. Might try to do some rounded tanks on that. A couple of uh, snorkels with some cherries on there. So I think we'll probably use this as kind of our reference. So I had started a Mac Titan earlier, and so this is the cabin. So I'm going to see what it will look like to just try to stick this on there and see how we're going to go. Probably have to refine it a little bit, so let me just go forward one. And so let's try to refine this. So this kind of has the cab of it, or the uh, design of it, how I want it. So let's get some deletion and get rid of the seating, and let's see if we can't slot this on. So as you can see, this allows me with this system of having a, by having the chassis, I can somewhat get this just kind of slotted on and get this working. And so it'll need a little bit of work. So let me see where the seats are. So I'd want to go down one. And so I have some things in the way. So let's go ahead and put this back up here. And so it looks like microcontrollers. So that's not a big deal. We can move those. Let's move the microcontroller here. And so hopefully I'll get this this uh, system refined so that it makes it a lot easier to port these things in. And then that way, you know, you can grab a chassis, you have a truck that performs well, already set up for TTIS and everything else, and all you have to do is build the cab. And you want a sleeper, you can put that on. You want, uh, I'll try to make a chassis for a cab over. That's going to need some some minor changes. All right, so that's about as low as it goes. I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and we'll place that. Okay. And let's actually undo that really quick. Let's undo again. Let's put it back up here. So what I'll do now is I'm actually going to split the hood. So the, the hoods tend to fold forward on a tractor. And this radiator, can I get this radiator down one? I may be able to. If I can do that, that will be nice. I should be able to. The radiator is really not the problem. Uh, it's it's fine anyway. All right, so what I want to do is split this uh, hood. And so this should be able to take the whole hood and fold it forward. All right, good. So let's see. Is that everything? That should be everything. So let's cut that. And we'll slide the whole hood down. And that way they're already set up to be... It's already set up to fold if I do that. And so these, you know, are road trains, are often used for road trains, and so they're... You know, a little bit more clearance on there. Probably drop the frame rails down. Uh, uh, not the frame rails, the fenders down one. So I just want to separate that off. Uh, 
And then the hood will go here, so that's fine. So let's grab all this. This is going to make it a lot easier to get a new vehicle in the world here by having just the chassis. And then, you know, you can kind of build it custom however you like. All right, so that goes in like so. All right, so the cab will actually attach to the frame like so. And then you have the hood. And the hood needs to fold. So let's go ahead and I want to drop these fenders down one. The fenders are probably one too high. All right, so there's my fender. Let's cut that and move it down one. That's better there. All right. Grab this one as well. And so there's a bunch of things I want to do that are going to require some... So to have a new tractor, and so uh, you know potentially do some cargo with containers. I think that's everything. Is it everything? I'm trying to look. Let's see. Nope. Okay. So let's go back to selection grid. All right. Good. So that's it there. Let's cut it and move it down one. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna grab this here and that needs to go down uh, does it need to slide back now that's the question i don't think so i think that just needs to go down so let's grab this all right and we'll cut that move that down one nope uh they need to move back that's the question so did i push this fender well up too far too far forward i don't know Curious how I had this set. I'm gonna just back it up and we'll see how this was looking before. Okay, so these were these were screwed up anyway, so that's fine. I'll put them back where they were and then I will fix this area here. So this needs to be redesigned here anyway. All right. So that spatially looks pretty good. And then let's see, what are we count? I'm trying to count blocks here. So one two three so cut here and we'll be have four not there cut here and we'll have four and i'm just going to do this color so that i don't have to repaint it all right so that's going to go in for the fender transition there so it's kind of a mixture of a arrow and a square type of hood so let's do a light. So we'll do a couple spots. And often there they are. So I might be able to curve this a little bit here. Let's try something here. So let's try to go with this shape and see where it gets us. I had not finished kind of my design of this anyway. So let's do that. It's going to be a little bit weird to kind of fix this area here, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, I should be able to work this here and make this uh, look all right. Yeah, so that's going to be fine. And then put this in here. All right, and then I will put a block there. And so it's actually in the fenders is where it shows in the reference material. So let's grab lights. spots right here and then these will attach the hood because this is going to bend with the cab these bend with the cab that, because one of the reasons is you actually access your light bulbs from the back there All right, pivots should we get the correct one robotic pivots and let's see we should have the solid on top there we go let's merge this to there and then these go there all right, and so that is our tip. Grill doesn't have to be too elaborate because we actually put a bull bar on there. So a bull bar is like a big metal cage. You know, they do a lot of off-roading, unprepared road, let's put it that way. And so you get a lot of like tree branches and stuff in the way and that can, uh, you know, you're protecting your grill because if you're out there in the middle of nowhere, and you end up uh, blowing out a grill, you're going to be very sorry. So, 
So it protects your grill because you'll kill your radiator and then you're in real trouble. Uh, what did I delete? Nothing that I needed. Okay, good. So I'm kind of looking at the reference material for design here. And so I'm going to start by just going across the top here like so. And it's pretty much grilled to the hinge. You can even see the hinge in the reference material. All right, so we'll go. So I have kind of a, I have a couple colors I use here. One's like, it's supposed to be like a stainless steel and this is like chrome. So it's kind of chromed, but it doesn't always look right in game. So, so we'll kind of work this chrome and see where I can get with this. Kind of has a grid pattern. All right. I could probably, you know, I could definitely do half. So I'll do half to save me some time. But so it's all chromed all around. But then we want to cut in. So let's try putting a Mac on there. So it is. I might, I might make it my own brand. So let's kind of keep it on point for a second. And then, so let's highlight this with a dark gray color. So we'll probably go mid light. And so I don't quite know how many blocks this is yet. So it's what? One, two, three, four blocks. Okay. So I'm going to count. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we can go up to here. And then we can come all the way across. Okay, like so. And so it has like a gasket. Because you would be slipping the grill in this area here. All right. So that's going to go like that. And that's all chrome. And so it's very squared off. So often that will make a truck look beefy having it really squared off. All right. And then let's see. All right, and so I'm going to grab some more paint blocks here, and we will try to get a, at least a little bit of a grill pattern going to 50%, and then I'll copy it off. All right, and then we'll go black in between these, like so. Oh, come on, don't do that, you stink. There we go. And once I can get, like, a full one of these... Once I move over to the next block to the right, I can just uh, copy them and do less work. All right, so that's going to be black here. Not that this saves me really any time, but. So it is very much, is actually, this saved me some good time. This is a grid pattern, so this, uh, this is going to be a grid pattern, this design how it is on the reference material. So it's going to be a grid like this. That actually fits in nicely. So I kind of like the design of it too. So let's see. Let's keep grid patterns in there. And so I need to kind of alternate out the off color, which will be a gray black there. And so I'll alternate this color off once I figure out what color it's going to be. That lines up two whites there. That's a problem, but I think it looks all right for now. It just duplicates it a couple times. That's not too bad. Try to save myself a little time there. So that looks good. Can I, what did I do here? I screw up. I did. Okay. Okay, so the white is going to be replaced with some sort of like silvery filler color, like probably more like a uh, stainless steel. And then go, crap. And then come across the top like so. All right, so we have our grid pattern there now, and I need to fill it with probably like a chrome here or a stainless color. Okay. 
Probably a little darker, maybe. Definitely darker, so let's go darker. So we'll see how this looks in a second, but I just need to kind of figure out where I'm at here. You know, this, this uh, chrome color, that's the right RGB values for chrome, but it looks very, it looks very white. And so I'll just detail that a little bit to kind of, you know, give it a little bit of form, even though, you know, the real one that I'm kind of referencing doesn't do that. But again, I might make this my own brand, which I probably will end up doing. So that's good. All right. And so let's duplicate out these grills. So go from here down and then I can change I can color swap which is convenient when I am ready to all right then I have the brand on the front so let's so let's take a look at that. See how that looks for us. I already like the shape. Shape's handsome. I'm digging that. That looks good. Uh, chrome could be a little bit different, but it's not bad. It's going to have a bull bar in there too, so that's going to be in front of it. So that will take some of the, whoops, some of the, you know, the focus off of it. And so it can be a little bit different. All right, so that'll be body color. This is probably not going to be the body color, but we can put whatever we want in there for body color now, and then it will change. So for the sake of making sure this doesn't clip when it goes up, I'm just going to go like this. Actually, you know what I could do? I could go like this and make this part of this body part, and then that will cover the hole, but then that won't be part when it tips up. Actually, I don't, I don't think I want that. I kind of want it to be part of this. Let's do like that. Okay. That'll work. Get a little more paint. Often you have plastic here on the ends for the fenders. So we'll go to a different color and it's kind of actually this gray color. So let's go let's color, grab this gray color. We'll do wedges, two buys. Nope, I don't want that. Let's go like that. Yeah, that finishes that off pretty nicely. Looks like plastic fender wells. And then the plastic fender wells usually stay with the body, so I probably should cut that and make that stay. And I'm able to keep it on the hood. All right, so that looks pretty good right now, so far at least. And so this hopefully will help me get set up a little bit more quickly. What is this in the back here? Okay, that can be cut mercifully. Good. That can be cut, and then we'll put in this color gray, which is my interior color for now at least. And that makes gives us a little bit more space in here. We have a cubby up top. That works for me. If I had a 3 by wedge, I'd stick it there, but I don't. Okay. There's my interior gray. Now the doors are pretty much all set in here. And so this is a day cab. There's no sleeper on here. So I may make sleeper. So I'm trying to decide if I want a sleeper or not. I want a day cab. Day cab, you don't have any place to sleep, of course, because um, you're just using it for the day. You're not actually going in there. But I don't have any sleepers. It would be kind of interesting to do a sleeper cab. I think I'm trying to see. I need to check this to see where it's okay. So it has twin stacks out the back. So the twin stacks would have to come all the way out here. I'm going to quickly play with my tanks here and see if I can't come up with a tank design that I don't hate. Part of it is trying to get enough quantity in the tanks so that it uh, justifies uh, making custom tanks here. 
Now let's see if I can do it and make it look all right. Probably not, I'm thinking. But we'll see. See if I can make this look all right. But it also needs to hold adequate amounts of fuel. So tanks are going all the way back. And then we'll put one there. And then we'll curve them back to the frame. Because they just go to the frame. They're, you know, your, your tanks are right like that. All right. And then I actually can cheat and use the frame to give me a little bit more fuel. All right. And I have some other tricks to get more fuel in there. All right. So I'll cut that. Oh, I don't want to cut all of that. I want to cut this. All right. And so they're they're pretty flat on the end, these truck tanks. Now, like I said, I want to get as much quantity because I need to see if it's if it's viable for me to put in customs, put in some custom round tanks like this, or if it's just going to take up so much of the um, capacity that it's not worth doing. Go like that. Got to finish that off. So using these wedges it allows me to make much you know, put more fuel in here. All right, so other thing I can do here is one, two, three, f what is it? Six, two, six by ones. That's, I don't think I have any six by ones. So I don't have any six by one microcontrollers, I don't think. But I, you know, I do need to hide microcontrollers, so this allows me to use the tanks to hide them. So I couldn't be a six anyway. They can't go to the ends, but... All right, that will go there. All right, what else do I have for small micros that can go in there? Hopefully nothing, it appears. Yeah, that's four, so that would be, this one might be able to be, what is this? All right, that's gonna get changed anyway, unless this is already set up to be my angular speed. Okay, so this needs to change, so I'm just going to delete this for now. Where is symmetry? I have a different steering system now. All right, and so let's go ahead and get a blank microcontroller, and this one can be a 5 by 1. So I can do two 5 by 1s on here. And this just increased the capacity. I'm trying to figure out how much capacity I can get on these tanks. Because if not, I have to go back to the other ones if I'm not going to have enough for what I'm doing to actually have to make this work for me. And so that can go there. Should be able to go here on the side. Like so. Like the bottom too, it can, it can go in the bottom as well. No, nah, no, it can't go in this bottom. So that's fine. Let's paste that, and then I need to shrink this by one. And that can go in there. I could have copied the other tank over, but I uh, already put in that microcontroller, so probably be easier to yank it out. But we'll run a test see uh, what the capacity is because I need enough capacity to make this worth worth my while to do this. So, all right, we'll check capacity on this one before I go ham on microcontrollers in there and see. All right, so we have, if you look, we have microcontroller here, there. Here, I could theoretically sneak one in here. No, that's a frame rail. I can't do that. So I kind of have the microcontrollers in wherever I can put them. What's this? That one fits. That one fits. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and 
need to have space for a spawner, a meter. All right, meter's going in. And spawner. And so before I get too too crazy on this, I'm going to read it out. on that and check it so if it's too low of a capacity it's not going to work anyway so that's 367 the other tanks are 700 so that is you know we're talking what are we talking three four twenty thirty four four thirty four okay four thirty four four hundred thirty four liters and then what is it divide three point so uh what are you talking here four Thirty something. So let's just say four thirty four, and then divided by three point two eight. Uh, it's one hundred thirty two gallons. That's about actually correct. Uh, you either have like seventy fives on either side. Well, those are bigger, the ones on the reference material. But like what I'm used to is like a fifty and a seventy five or two seventy fives. So that's not bad. I think they look better uh, rounded anyway. So we'll go with that. I think for now we'll go day cab and then I will convert it to a sleeper. Sleeper would actually be easy. Sleeper will help me to hide some microcontrollers. That's a benefit. But um you know that is one of the benefits is if I put a sleeper on it really helps me hide some microcontrollers. But we won't worry about that right now. Like this is my chrome color and you can see it just shows up as way too uh definitely too white. So something like this. That looks a little bit more stainless. They're usually not chrome, unless you're, you know, you have more money than sense. You're usually stainless. Uh, do that. That would help a lot. All right. And so if we put on, we could do twin stacks. That is my fuel in there, and so we can actually sneak our fuel in a little bit differently now. But that's one of the reasons I want to do this is, you know, those standard stock tanks, they you kind of have to put it in weird. Uh, you know, you have to really expose the the pump, the uh, hoses and everything, the pipes, to uh, English language me speak. You really have to expose uh, the piping to get it in there. It looks weird, so doing this I think is better anyway. And so where are we at here? So that can't go there. All right, so I can move this meter here probably. So let's delete it. All right, so the meter will go here. All right, meter goes there. And then I will go. That's going to be in the way of that, isn't it? Whatever, I can move that. That's not a big deal. That can go on the end. All right, so this can go to the end, like so. Should just deleted it. I'll take that microcontroller out later and uh, replace it so that I'm not having to redo each tank independently. All right, so that will go like that, and then I need to block this off. So if I go like that, I have to put the fluid spawner there which is fine we'll grab a fluid spawner fluid spawner will go like that then I want the black color will go like this and then I want this corner piece and this color back here All right and then we'll go ahead and I will grab this and where are we at here? So this can go one more down. So this is my fuel connection here. And so I'm hiding it in the frame rails. You know, you have a just a small thin uh, fuel hose IRL. And so in this, you're putting in these massive pipes. And so this doesn't bother me because you'd be running against the frame rails anyway. Often you can look under the cab because the cab is sitting on its own suspension. 
You actually can look under there and see the transmission. That's why I have it exposed like that. Let me see, what is that? Okay, that's the end of the transmission right here. So, yeah, that's the end of the transmission sticking out there in the back. And then I'm thinking, do I want twin exhaust? I probably do. Just for the looksies of it. Okay. And I'm thinking, let's go cut this cat. I still need that. I'll still need it there anyway. So cut that. Put in one of these. It's Johnny's here. All right, and then we'll go across the frame here, and we'll link up to a. So we'll have twin exhaust on this one. And then I want to go up probably, I'd say, one on either side. Symmetry, please. Thank you. And then I want a uh, liquid-to-air heat exchanger. I need to make sure these are facing the correct direction. See, that looks funky with them sticking off the cab that much. I'll put an arrow, uh, a little bit of an arrow deflector on the back probably. Let's actually just do this here. Let's cut this in one. All right, let's do this. Do a different one that doesn't stick out as much. Sticking out looks strange to me. Okay. All right, and then we'll start with these. Now we'll put those in kind of stay in this color and we'll do where are they these could stretch this and XML it later so I want to make sure that the air out is there it is okay and then we want to go pipe from there so I'll, I'll XML some pipes to look better but Probably end up going more in the corners here. They'll go right here in the corners. But I'm just kind of fleshing this out, trying to get some notion of what I'm looking at here and how I want it. Yep, so that will get worked on. But that's, I'm just spatially trying to figure this out. All right, that's starting to look the part. I think it looks uh, pretty good. A lot of microcontrollers to hide, which is kind of my fear is, you know, I've set this up so when you open the hood, it looks correct and everything else. And then I need to kind of dash a ton of microcontrollers in here that's the issue with having a day cab so let's make an executive decision now and let's go to a sleeper because this just isn't going to look right with a day cab on there and so it actually sticks out one more the sleeper and so we'll go up here we'll cut this all out yeah so i i don't have any sleepers either so that'll be kind of cool all right and so we'll go sleeper on this. And they're very angular, so. Sleeper sticks out. Okay, I was going to say mercifully. Um, I put on symmetry. Let's get that matched up there. I'm thinking go two wedges on there, I think, is going to be better. So, flicky camera, yay. All right, we'll go two wedges on there. I think that's going to look a little bit better. Again, you know, part of this is going to be my own design, so.
think uh, I'll go switch to four wedges on there. Change the angle a little bit. And that's about as bat far back as I want to go. Okay. Okay. Sleeper. And they stop pretty abruptly normally at the, uh, you know, they just terminate flat. So that looks pretty, looks pretty correct. All right. Cut out any guides that I don't need in there. That stays. Okay. So that's my sleeper. And then the floor will continue. Uh, generally, they don't drop down, but. Yeah, so let's use all this like lower floor space here for micros, and then this here. Uh, is this not merged? Oh, those are doors. Okay, and so this here will go like that, and then under here is all microcontroller hiding, so that works well for me. Stacks will come out right here by the uh, fender wells, um, so that's looking pretty good. Looks pretty beefy and nice. So generally, what you do is you actually have a gap like this. And this is for arrow here, and so leave that like that. All right, and micros will go under there. They can also go on the floor, but that gives me plenty of room for micros, plenty of room here for micros. Get a bed in here. All right, nice, nice, nice. Just kind of pick, you know, I'm not really picky with colors here. I'm just trying to get it in. All right, so this is going to be space for a bed. Uh, often they're pretty cool. Like the bed will tip up and you'll have storage under the bed. You'll have cubbies above. You know, you'll have a little bit of a uh, kitchenette there with a microwave. So they're kind of cool that they have, you know, it's like a camper. It has a lot of good use of space. So that's looking good. I like the shape of it generally. Go ahead and we'll do a little bit of painting here. So it's, probably, it's not going to stay this blue, but I can change it. So that's looking good. I'm liking the lines of that. Let's quickly throw a bull bar on. The bull bar is a little bit challenging because it needs to rotate with the needs to rotate with the actual uh, hood when the hood comes. So I could put a second pivot for the bull bar. Often they're on their own pivot, and you just pull a pin and drop it. So I'll kind of decide how I want to do that. But I kind of like the idea of having a bull bar. So let's go ahead and uh, let's cut in here. Get rid of symmetry. Cut there. And we'll grab a robotic pivot. Put it right here. All right, and that will be for the bull bar. So kind of getting some design cues off the bull bar here. See how I want to set this up. So I'm trying to find like a silvery chromey color. We'll just do the stainless color I've been using for now at least. And so bull bar will come off of here. And then we can turn symmetry back on. And then this will rotate out of the way. So this goes in front of the lights and the fenders and everything. Yeah, uh, so you don't break it if you hit brush. So you know, also known as brush guards. So it'll go all the way up here, so that uh, to the front of the fender, so you're not actively smashing your fenders off of stuff because they're fiberglass. And so you take a branch to the fender, you very well could um, cause yourself uh, great distress in all the land. And you definitely don't want that. Put the bull bar up like that. And then it will probably tee off here. Go cross it, actually. Okay. 
Okay, this will go like that. And then these will go all the way down to probably, you know, okay, I can't put it in front of lights. That's f not really great. Um, hmm. You know what I'm going to do? So it has uh, some, it has some like spotlights on there. So let's do this. All right, let's go like this. So we'll make it, it a little bit thinner. This will f make it so I can go around the lights and then we'll put spots up there and that will make it kind of look, look all right. Go right there, please. Thank you. And then now this will, uh, the, um, that's fine. These ropes can, can move out a little bit. All right, so I'll leave that there for now. And then I want to come across the top here probably. So we cut, cut. So the lights are kind of a little bit in a, in a hokey area, but it's not bad. All right, so that's looking all right there. This is too tall. The bull bar is definitely too tall, and I've already lost. Okay. So what I could do is this. I don't need the bull bar necessarily to go all the way down. It's looking too long, so what I might do is cut out and not have the bumper included. So let's do that. Let's cut you, and then let's go back to black block here. And then what we'll do is we'll tie the bull bar into the pivots on the hood, and then we I don't need a separate system. Uh, I would have liked to tie it in here, though. That's a little bit weird, but... The lights are where the lights are, so I kind of have to figure this out. Hmm. Not ideal, but um, I'll figure it out later. It's just uh, kind of getting the general gist of it like that. And so for now, let's do this. Not perfect, but it's uh, something for now. And that will actually bend with the hood, which will make it easier. Often they don't. They're often separate. You have to bend out the bull bar first and then the uh, then the rest of it. So actually go back like this. Okay. And I will recraft this a little bit. So I want to go around the lights definitely. So let's grab this, move this, cut you down. Bingo. All right. Let's grab this one. Move that. So these are our, uh, these are our tow hooks for towing. Generally towing the truck out of an issue. All right, and then we'll grab that. Why won't you go there? There we go. Okay. And then we'll grab a T-piece here. And we'll come across like so. Okay. So that looks pretty good for the bull bar there. It protects our lights. Comes up with double segments up top. Pretty contiguous there. And then kind of break up the silhouette a little here. And then grab a cross piece, go like this. Like so, and so the bull bar will tip out of the way, and then I can add some sort of flare or flash down there. So it has kind of like some flat pieces there, but it doesn't look perfect, but it's on there for now. So probably actually want to put two pivots just to make it look better, but that's on there for now. That kind of gives me a little bit of an idea what's going on, but it's looking pretty good. So this is on the 18-speed Mac Pinnacle chassis, and so this will work for us. And that will, you know, so once everything, once all the microcontrollers are connected, this will just run, this will pull, this will be really uh, set up nicely. As you can see, the cab is all set up uh, with all the dials. So you see how in, what is it, 44 minutes, I didn't make the full cab. I'd already made part of it. But you can see, so in a pretty short amount of time, we can go from no truck to a truck. And so that's pretty cool. 
Let's see what I want to put in here. Let's check uh, all the colors here. So under here is where I think I'm going to do the intakes. So it has a couple of uh, intakes. And so let's go ahead and I don't think I have anything there. Let's nope, let's cut there. And we, we only have one intake and it's right. It's right here. The, and so we're going to have one side come out and the other one will be faked. And so that will come out there. Okay. And so it uses like a black pipe. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, that is, okay, yep, that's correct, all right. So let's go like this. Now I'll just fake it on the other side when it, uh, for, you know, symmetry reasons, but, because it has two on the, uh, on the reference, which is kind of cool. Problem is, it's going to come right up by my directional, but I can move the directional back one. So let's do that. Let's cut that. Directional goes back one. All right. And we'll do that on this side. That's the side direction. You have a lot of directionals on tractors because you want to make sure everybody sees you. And so we don't actually need to cut it down this much if I do it like this. So. And so I'll fake that on the other side once I kind of get with it. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to put a block here, and then I will go like that. And then I can delete this block, and now I can go back to symmetry. So the doors, oh, the doors are going to hit if I do them there. Yeah. I'll worry about that. I can probably get the doors to come out like 45 degrees, I'm hoping. So put these in, and I'll test the doors out later. Mirrors are always going to be a pain because, you know, I can't do as thin of a mirror carriage as you would IRL. Well, what I could do, actually, is I could uh, XML. Actually, I could move this back one, and we're good. So that's fine. I'll move this back, cut that, move it here. Right, that works for me. Cut that, move that back. Beautiful. So that actually fixes that problem. Nice. That wasn't too bad. And then we'll just go like that. That symmetry is off. Of course it is. Why would symmetry be on when I need symmetry on? Come on, come on, come on, guy. Give it to me. There we go. All right. And so we have one of these liquid heat exchangers and be like this starts to go to like chromey. So we're just doing stainless pretty much for any time this chrome. I think it's looking better. All right, and so do pipe. And scoop. All right, and there are our two air intakes. So they also will have a, I can't really put it on there, but they'll have a rock guard here so that any rocks kicked up don't break the windshield. We have, I have a sloped windshield, so I'm, Gonna have to probably maybe XML something for air horns. Let's try speakers here and see if I can get them to look all right for air horns because you see how they're gonna sit up. So I have to kind of, they don't look too bad, but they just need to be, I need to get them in there first. So they're gonna rebel against these wedges for right now. So let's go ahead and go like this. Now we'll go like that. Right. They're kind of floaty, but I can uh, I can try to 
put something in there and make it look a little bit better. But just trying to get the general detailing done on this. What I could do is I could actually cut out the slope on this roof and flatten it. And then this is actually a little bit more realistic to how it is. Let's go. Let's cut these. All right, let's go ahead and try something. Yeah, that looks funky as hell. Definitely don't want to double brow it like that, but what we could do is try to see what it, if I could flat it, flatten it here. I don't think so. I think it's going to look funky. Yeah, it's, it looks too funky. So let's kind of back it up the way it was. I'll figure something out to get those like XML in if I need, or I put the just put the air horns under the hood. But uh, looking pretty good there. Let's go ahead and grab here and here, and let's put in. Thought I had a T piece right there, right there. Okay, good. And then I want spots, and these are ambers on the reference. So I kind of like that anyway. So let's grab some ambers. There we go. A little bit of de detailing on there, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm digging on that. Let's see if I can. It has like a an amber. I can't do amber glass, so I'm not gonna do that. It has a, like another rock guard here, a plastic rock guard. But uh, this is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and we'll do a quick paint here in the back. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I think this is kind of getting me there. And so it shouldn't need too much work. All the microcontrollers are here. It has reasonable fuel. It's not an insane amount, but it is certainly usable in game. And it's all we really need. You know, these would be going for very long distances. We're not, we're, we're stopping pretty regularly. So we don't really need it. And so we end up carrying a bunch of fuel we don't need anyway. And so this looks better, I think. I could probably drop those tanks down even one more block and have them sit lower to the ground maybe. Uh, yeah, I probably could. I'd probably sit them down here below the step line. Actually, you know what they do? They have the tanks all the way to the front, and then I have to bury steps in the tank. So I could in extend the tanks, uh, potentially. So that's a thought. But uh, now with the sleeper on here, I can hide microcontrollers. Microcontrollers can go on the floor. It's double going to be double floored, so I can definitely hide them all in there. Uh, behind the bed, I can hide a couple. So definitely don't have any problem. I had to hide them in the arrow wing on the Mac Pinnacle. So this will be a lot easier to hide micros. So I think this is going along. Let's go ahead and save this as uh, Road Train Tractor. All right, so this is going to be all set. This is my Road Train Tractor. This will be used in the Career Build Series as our new tractor for this. As you can see, with that chassis system, it's going to have the chassis, the transmission, the engine, all the microcontrollers to run it. It even has the seats and the dash panel. Uh, it has my T-Test system. So you can pretty much, you know, you will, when I finally get it done, download. Uh, if you want the 18-speed or the 10-speed, I'll probably make a 13-speed. And it's all set up, and you just build the cab of the truck. So you don't have to worry about going through and making the transmission work properly. And that's where I see a lot of people struggling is, Trying to get the transmission of a truck to actually act like a truck, and so this system works, you know, perfectly as a real truck would, and that uh, makes it a lot easier. So, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one.